Hello guys, so I changed the position positioning of the of the phone and then the book, right? I'm trying to find a better angle for a better a better lighting for you guys. Okay, I'm beside my plants here, indoor plants. Um so I am going to feature actually Lattice Miss Dorsi and Terrace Major. Just because um a Terrace Major uh, is uh, Latissimus uh, Dorsai's um, little helper. They, uh, Terrace Major is called Lat's little helper. It's because it's a complete uh, synergist with the Latissimus Dorsai. Okay, so I'm gonna start uh, with the Latissimus Dorsai. I'm going to be uh, featuring um, this image here. So kind of look at this lateral and posterior view of the Latissimus Dorsai. Okay, so it is the broadest muscle of the back. As you can see, it's a swimmer muscle. It's thin. Superficial fibers originate at the low back, ascend at the side of the trunk, and merge into a thick bundle at the axilla. As you can see, it merged into a thick bundle, right? Both ends of the latissimus dorsi are difficult to isolate. However, its middle portion, next to the lateral border of the scapula, is easy to grasp. So if you can see right around this area here, that you can be able to grasp on. Usually this is so um, um, hypertonic for swimmers, right? Because um, for swimmers, they use their, this muscle, this is a swimming muscle. So around this area, they're probably um, have some tendons, um, you know, being all, um, have some um, work, because if it's overworked, right, it will have some uh, pain, this will have some hypertonicity if you, it's really, really um, tender. If you were to um, palpate that, meaning if you were to touch that area. Okay, going um, to the uh, terrace major here. Just wanna make sure it didn't move. Okay, so um, Terrace Major is called, uh, I have mentioned earlier, the Lats Little Helper. You know, um, it is superficial and located along the scapulous lateral border between the, lat the, the, the Latissimus dorsi and the Terrace Minor. Okay, although they share names, the Terrace Major and Minor rotate the arm in opposite directions. Okay, keep this in mind and simplify this in your head so that uh, you will realize that major and minor are opposite um, in action, they're antagonists, okay? So the major uh, uh, runs um, medially, rotate the arm in an opposite direction, right? Like I said, so the major rotated medially or the minor rotated laterally, okay? And the latissimus dorsi and teres major are sometimes called the handcuff muscles since their actions collectively bring the arms into the arresting position. So the um, action for the latissimus dorsi, um, it extends the shoulder, same with the teres major, it yeah, adduct the shoulder, same as the teres major, medially rotate the shoulder, same as the teres major. The insertion for uh, the latissimus dorsi is the inferior anger of the scapula, okay? The spinous process of the last six thoracic vertebrae, last three or four ribs, and the thoracolumbar aponeurosis. These are the aponeurosis and posterior iliac crest. Okay, this is the iliac crest and then the posterior side. And the insertion is the intertubricular group of the humerus. You see that um, intertubricular group. Okay. And the nerve innervation is a thoracordosal six C six, C seven, and C eight. For teres major, I've mentioned the action already. This is the same as the latissimus dorsi. So the origin um, of the latissimus uh, teres major, sorry, is inferior angle and lower one third of lateral border of the scapula. Okay, inferior angle, lateral one third. Okay, so the insertion is the crest of the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Keep in mind the lesser tubercle, okay? A nerve innervation is the lower subscapular, C5, C6, and C7. 
So that, that, that is the stir sign that only moves the arm, but because of its broad origin can also affect the trunk and the spine. Contraction of the left latissimus dorsi assists in lateral flexion of the trunk to the left. If the arm is fixed, as when hanging from a bar, that latissimus will assist in extension of the spine and tilting of the pelvis anteriorly and laterally. Okay. So we can see the image here. Um, this is the origin and this is the insertion. Right? origin and insertion of the latissimus dorsi is this one this is for the teres major right when do you use your lat and teres ma uh, major um just want to make sure that you can see it uh usually when you're steering a kayak with a paddle and sipping the back of your dress walking with crutches climbing up a rope and storming a castle so have your client um in a uh, prone position, immediately rotating at the shoulder. Okay, so you immediately rotate the shoulder. Prone, have your partner, your client, with the arm off the side of the table, locate the scapulous lateral border, which the step is doing here with his left arm. Using your fingers and thumb, grasp a thick wand of muscle tissue. Lateral to the lateral border, this is the latissimus dorsi and perhaps some of the teres major. Note how this muscle tissue flares off the side of the trunk. Feel the latissimus fibers contract by asking your partner to immediately rotate his shoulder against your resistance. Swing your hand up toward your hip. As this occurs, follow the latissimus fibers superiorly into the axilla and inferiorly onto the ribs. On the ribs, my apologies. So to ensure you are not just lifting the skin, grasp the tissue and let it slowly slip out between your fingers. Do you feel the muscles fibrous texture or just the skin, skin's jelly-like quality? Oops, oh no. <laughs> okay, so that this in this uh, dorsi, you're having your client here just want to make sure that you guys can still see this as you can. Okay. Um, with your partner in supine, cradle the arm in a flex position and grasp the tissue of the latissimus located beside the lateral border. Okay. So as you can see how the therapist is doing that, ask your partner to extend his shoulder against your resistance. So you press your elbow toward your hip. Okay. You're going to ask your client that. This will force a latissimus uh, door, uh, door side to contract. Okay, so you can see here the partner is in supine pressing his elbow towards his hip against the client's resistance. Okay, now we're, we're going on to the terrace major. Have your client prone with the arm off the side of the table. You're going to locate and grasp the lettuce and the door side fibers between your fingers and thumb. Move your fingers and thumb medially to where you feel the scapulous lateral border. The muscle fibers that lie medial to the latissimus dorsi and attach to the lateral border will be the teres major. Follow these fibers towards the laxilla where they blend with the latissimus dorsi. So you're going to lay your thumb on the inferior aspect of the, la the lateral border and have your partner immediately rotate the shoulder joint to distinguish the teres major from the latissimus dorsi. Okay, so the fiber of both muscles will contract. Those that attach directly to the lateral border belong to the teres ma ma major, my apologies. The more lateral fibers belong to uh, latissimus dorsi. Okay, as you can see here in this image here, uh, the partner in prone medially rotating at the shoulder. So the client is medially doing that rotation. And the next topic will be um, rotator cuff muscles. This is one of my favorite interesting group. Muscle. See you guys next video.